Hey, welcome back. This morning, we're in the Gospel of Luke. In fact, Jesus is going through these uh, testings in the wilderness. Today, we're at Luke chapter 4, verses 9 to 12. Let's read it out. Then he brought him to Jerusalem, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you to keep you, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered and said to him, It is written, or it has been said, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Now again, Jesus is, Satan is testing Jesus. He's tempting Jesus. Jesus is taken and now he physically takes him and puts him on the pinnacle of the temple. Here's Jesus, the temptation for Jesus. You know, he can he can uh, leap off and glide down and kind of do, you know, kind of a Superman landing. Ta-da, boom. I'm, uh, guess what? I am the Messiah. I just that's the kind of entrance Jesus could make here, but that's not what he's going to do. And look, the devil's even quoting scripture back to Jesus. One of the most blasphemous pages in all the Bible where Satan is quoting scripture back to Jesus, who wrote the scripture, who, who inspired the scripture. This is one of the most blasphemous things you could see. And he's quoting it and he's misinterpreting it. And that's a whole study in itself we, we really don't won't be able to get into today. But what's interesting here is that Jesus answers by Scripture. You know, this is what is written. This is what is written. And now Satan comes back and he adapts. He adapts quickly. You know, oh, yeah, well, then here's what's written. Accept my interpretation of Scripture. We need to be careful. We do not accept Satan's interpretations of Scripture. We need to make sure we have God's interpretation. So, again, this goes back to, just as we were at the last one, this is Deuteronomy chapter 6. Jesus is identifying with Israel in the wilderness. And Israel uh, is tested in the wilderness and fail, fail, fail. Uh, but here, Jesus is, is win, win, win. And so Jesus says, respond, you shall not test or you shall not tempt the Lord your God, verse 12. And so that's the response of Jesus. He is not going to fall for it. He's not going to use his power. He's not going to negate his example. He's going to overcome all three of these. Jesus overcomes the same way you, can, you and I can overcome. How is that? Through the power of the Holy Spirit, through the power of God's promises, through his word, and by not allowing devils or men to lead us to misinterpret the scriptures. Jesus shows us three different things here. Boom, boom, boom. He is successful each time. So watch out because the devil comes quoting scripture. He would, if he would quote it to Jesus, he would quote it to you. He would misquote it, certainly. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we look at the temptations of Jesus and it seems astonishing. How could anybody with 40 days, he hasn't eaten, and now he's faced by the most uh, remarkable, seductive tempter there is in the universe. But Jesus prevails. Why? Because he has the Bible. He has the word. Lord, may we be in the word day by day. Bless us. Grow us. Help us to understand what situation we're in, just as Jesus understood and identified himself with your purpose for victory for your people in the wilderness. Even though they didn't get it, he got it. Lord, please, you be our leader in any wilderness we are in. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. A friend, God is good. Jesus shows the way. And may Jesus bless you with his power and his help today in whatever situation you are in.